when I was working in, in WWE, you sometimes we work in Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and and maybe even a Tuesday once in a while. That's insane. That travel schedule was fucking crazy. Different city. Different city, driving, renting your own cars, all that sort of stuff. When AEW started, that was one of the things. We only work on Wednesdays. Now we work Wednesdays and Saturdays. But that's but but still, and it's like it's it, the, our boss, the Khan family, Tony Khan. They they also own the Jacksonville Jaguars and Fulham Football Club in England. So they treat AEW much more like an athletic um, team. The much better care as far as you know hotels and and cars, all that stuff is taken care of where it wasn't in WWE. So that makes it a lot easier on your travel too. And plus the fact you're only just flying into one city and flying out the next day is a lot better than flying into one city on a Friday, picking yeah. up a car, driving 250 miles to somewhere on Saturday, then driving another 200 miles somewhere on Sunday, then driving somewhere else the, the 250 miles to get there Monday, return your car on Tuesday in a city that's like 15 freaking states from where you got it and you got to pay for it all. And you have to explain <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. well, no, I got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, We're the, in what's Nevada. The, what's the it, drop off charge? Yeah, yeah. exactly. So. Uh. When WWE went public as a publicly traded company and a lot of people got very wealthy, you guys must have all been like, the fuck? It's weird because for the longest time there was only one show in town. Chris Jericho has come to save the WWF. Uh, from what? Which is the worst thing that can happen yeah. for for anything. a performer yeah. for anything? But so you could get to a certain level and and make some money. But like you said, you see what what's going on with they've gone public and there's you know two billion dollars in shares and you know you did good making two hundred fifty grand that year. But you're like, holy smokes, like fuck, man, I was in the main event twenty times, yeah, or whatever it may be. So. Once again, with the advent of AEW, when AEW started five years ago, actually, when I went to AEW, it changed the entire salary structure. I don't know if you know a lot about hockey, but when Bobby Hall went to the WHA in 1970, the NHL raised everybody's pay so that no one would go to this other league. Right. And that's basically what happened in WWE and in AEW. Did he end up coming back to the NHL? He did. No, I don't think he did. No, he retired the WHA because he was Winnipeg Jets for five, six years, yeah. So, but point being, it changed the entire way that the business was done. And that's kind of what happened in wrestling too when AEW started. Is what was your, what was your deal? What were the old deals and what did your deal? Well, I mean, you look now, because it, it, things have changed too, Neil, where it's all about television revenue. Before it used to be, I was talking about the road shows and pay-per-view and all this sort of thing. Now it's television because live sports is the last bastion of advertising you know, revenue that it's, they'll spend. You don't know what's going to happen. Right. You have um, to tune in for the whole show. You have to, you have to watch it yeah. when it's happening. There's gambling, which yeah. I don't know if you guys, they can't probably won't gamble on you guys, right. but, uh, and it's, uh, apolitical. Yeah. Those are the, those are the virtues of live sports. Right. Is that most of the time, not political. Yeah. And all those other virtues. No, so. And, and so it's, it's, it's worth like, in yeah, some it's, cases, it's billions the most of dollars. Value, and it's the only yeah. thing that rates well. Yeah. So, th so that's kind of, you know, when, when, when AEW started, and because I was kind of the biggest name to help start the company. And one of the factors that got us onto TBS on a national platform that of course my, it was the most money I'd ever made ever yeah. in wrestling. And that was in 2019, which was 29 years into it. Was it bittersweet? Like, I wish I could have made I this mean, you money could look at the, it that way. You in know? the league that I was in, the, yeah, in the I mean, company that I, that I, you, you could look at it that really way. Really help. Yeah. But I mean, you don't seem to have a lot of self pity. I, 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 I rode the wave the whole way. You know, yeah. I've always been really good at, at knowing when it's time to move on. And it was time to move to a different place. And we made AEW success very quickly. Yeah. So I'm not sour grapes or, or bitter about anything. Yeah, listen, would it be great to make $10 million a year for 20 years? Sure it is. Sure. But I mean, there's guys in the 80s that were making 20 grand a year that don't have anything yeah. now and they were world champions. So many, You're, so with AEW, you were like the one of the one. architects, yeah, like I mean, a, yeah, a GM. It, yes. Yeah. I mean, yeah, EVP. And did it make you think of the whole thing differently? It or did. were you just able? Okay, yeah. It did because you mentioned in WWE, there's a lot of writers in AEW. We, we're writing a lot of our own stuff, which for me is is great because I'm a creative and I know my character and I know who's out there that I want to do, want to wrestle with, I want to do stories with. So it's a completely different animal. Like in WWE, you, you would wait and find out what 
the writers had for you. Yeah. In AW, I'm submitting the ideas that if my boss approves it, then I know what I'm doing for the next eight weeks, which, you know, if you're, if you're painting a picture. Can all the guys do that? No. No, okay. you have to be at a certain level. Okay. You, know, you have to earn that respect. Are that there trust. guys that are really good performers and then they have bad story ideas? Because that happens out here a lot. Yeah. Where I, yeah. There's movie stars like, I'm also a producer right. and a writer, and then all their movies go down the. Yeah. And, and another thing, too, is a lot of people just kind of wait around for whatever they're given. That's nothing about wrestling. Like we said, you're not expected to come up with your own stuff. That's not really how the business works until you get to a certain level. Then you can. Then you are expected to come up with stuff, and that's is that is that generally that's every corporation, every 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 league, every guy. After I would a think so. Point, I like, would think so. You want yeah guys to pitch. Yeah, I mean, even the last probably I was in WWE for twenty years, so probably the last six or seven, I spearheaded the stories. I didn't have all of them, right. but I spearheaded them. And then once I moved to AW, probably coming up with seventy to eighty percent, and then. And then collaborating with 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 my boss and whoever else is kind of involved, uh, and once again, I, and that's that's something too that after, after some years I'm not attached to anything. Like if I have an idea and you don't like it, no, no problem. Like yeah. no, like hey, the motherfucker, like yeah. okay, well, like we're writing a song together. Like I always envision like if Lennon McCartney, like you're, you're writing a song. Do you like this part? Cool, let's keep it. Do you like this part? I don't like it. Okay, let's yeah. come up with something else. Yeah. And that's what putting together great wrestling matches like too. Hey, did you like that? Did you like that? Yeah, did you like it though? You want more? Don't want to work? Would rather watch videos of me grab assing with people? First of all, go up here to subscribe and then go up here to uh, watch more clips. This is like when the weatherman says that there's a high pressure system coming in. Although I'm not really used to the green screen.